Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and as always thanks for clicking on this video. Now, I'm just going to preface this one with a few home truths. Um, I've always enjoyed testing and reviewing outdoor gear. That's always formed part of the content here on MCM Outdoors and it's something I'm always going to continue to do. I know that there's people that watch the videos that don't like gear reviews and if you're one of them just skip past this one and I'll see you on the next camping video. But today I'm pleased to be testing two items of outdoor gear from Columbia. I've got the Arch Rock Double Wall Elite Jacket and I've got some Facet Alpha 75 sort of hiking trail shoes. I'll talk about them in a bit more detail and again just important to point out that I will never review a product whereby the manufacturer or the retailer tells me what to say unless I've got an open invite to give an honest and accurate review I'm not going to do it sometimes people say can you give a favorable review I don't say yes to anything like that so Columbia reached out do you want to try this jacket do you want to try these shoes let us know what you think and that's it so that's what I'm going to do so on my last wild camp I uh, made an absolute monumental faux pas in that my Kestrel handheld sort of anemometer for some reason I didn't put it on my pack properly and it fell off so it was an expensive mistake but this is a crucial bit of kit for me um, my, my sort of winter camps I always like to know how cold it is what's the wind speed what's the wind chill um, the reason I'm mentioning it now it's we're experiencing a probably the first cold snap here in the UK uh, I love winter I love cold weather I love ice I love snow um, and you know potentially we're going toward the zeros this weekend and maybe even just below so some frost and ice are possible so it's a chilly one today the temperatures are dropping um, and because I'm reviewing this jacket which has got some clever technology some sort of lunar inspired technology I'll talk about that a bit later on in the in the walk uh, I wanted to know how cold it was so all I'm wearing underneath this is a single base layer um, just a budget base layer I think it was from Lidl and um, one of their sort of own brands but I've just got that on now I'm looking at the wind chill and yeah I'll spin you around it's dropping so it's around six degrees so we'll tackle this video in two parts we'll talk about the jacket first and we'll talk about the hiking boots um, in the in the latter half of the video but I mean yeah look at this terrain it's a bit of a mixed bag a nice local walk to me but this time of year it's a it's a muddy boggy mess but absolutely ideal for coming out and putting our outdoor gear through its paces they're not going to be clean for long hey <laughs> well I've had to put the hover x1 away because it's a little bit too windy so I keep getting errors due to the wind and some you know strongest gusts passing through so what we're saying was that the um, the interior of this jacket has got this Omni Heat Infinity, quite a clever technology, printed um, metallic gold dots really close together and um, they reflect the heat back, that's what they're designed to do, there's the layer on the first lining then there's a layer inside too, so you get that double wall effect um, and then there's a synthetic um, filling um, just to give you some extra insulation and trap that warm air it's totally windproof it's not waterproof it's shower proof um, but if you're heading out in sort of wet weather um, just stick an outer shell over it and use this as a nice warming mid layer now you can see just from the texture there that these dots are printed on the underside of the material too so that's you know actually inside the jacket pointing inwards and I will unzip it and show you what they actually look like now so yeah that is the interior now it's just a series of printed gold metallic dots and that's what they call Omni Heat Infinity that's their technology and they are printed inside the jacket as well on the interior um, so reflectivity 
reflex your heat back towards your body and you also get that double effect on the inside of the jacket too that's what it looks like it does look sort of lunar as though it was on a sort of lunar lander now just in case anyone's concerned i mean that interior certainly unique in terms of the color and um, when the jacket's open that's pretty much hidden away you know it's not abundantly obvious and um, so you don't look like you're going to a kind of hip-hop um, bar you know with a bottle of crystal in the corner there um, it's it's a nice technology um, i know sort of manufacturers claims can become ever more bold and flamboyant um, but you know taking it back to simple physics with metallic objects reflecting heat um, and this seems to work well instant change obviously when the jacket's just on and that's not just solely down to the insulating properties of the fill and um, i would suggest based on my use i've been using it for around two weeks now that it does actually work so in terms of zippers they are ykk zippers which um, are arguably some of the best quality in the industry and they don't fail and if they do it'd be very rare so you've got a zipped pocket on each side and you've also got a zippered chest pocket on the left hand side so we'll have a look at the hood and you know this is probably one of the negatives although it's a nice generous hood and uh, you can get it on even over a bobble hat just for some extra warmth there and um, there's no adjustability so you've got this elasticated hem you know which cinches it around uh, you'll be able to use it with a helmet absolutely more than big enough for that but there's no draw cords just to pull it that tight around your face and obviously if you had a strong headwind you get a slight bit of billow in there just because you haven't got that ability to cinch it down it's the same in respect to the cuffs you've got that elasticated hem but you've got no um, sort of buckles or toggles or the ability to cinch it tight around your wrists and you haven't got thumb loops a lot of jackets you have a loop in the hem to put your thumb through um, they're not present on this one so if you're using it as a mid layer when you're stretching into your, your outer layer the arms can ride up simply a case of just holding on to it like so but the addition of thumb loops maybe if there's a revised model that would be something i'd be pleased to see it is very very warm just standing in the direct sunlight um, you know more than comfortable you could stand out here all day in this and that's that's static not moving around too i can really feel the heat build up inside um, in terms of breathability it's not bad and um, there's a little bit of sort of wiggle room in the cuffs so when you're moving that mechanical action of moving your arms pushes some of the warm air out of the jacket uh, there's no venting options under the arms or anything like that i think think of this of kind of like an insulated mid layer um, and it's it's good to see how technology's moved on you know days gone by and i used it on the october camp video massive rab summit down jacket you look like a michelin man um, and, and the way technology's moved on now to achieve sort of similar levels of warmth and insulation without the the bulk of these giant coats so it's it's nice to see Now in terms of price, pretty reasonable um, for the warmth and the technology it offers. I've just had a look online and you can get this for 160 quid at the moment, which makes it very competitively priced. Some of the costs of some of the down jackets um, and insulated jackets is frankly extortionate. Now bear in mind, this is synthetic. So it's obviously not made from, uh, you know, goose down or anything like that so if that's a concern you don't have to think about that with synthetic products but it's competitively priced and um, the design you know some people like to wear things comfortably on the high street as well on the as well as on the high fells so this is equally at home i think walking you know winter's day shopping around town as well as looking good and stylish as well as being functional on the fells i always like this view and i'm not sure whether you'll be able to pick it out um, on my camera well, that's looking north uh, toward pendle hill and then on the far horizon you've got sort of parlick pike fair snape beacon fell winter hill and great hill just in the distance there I always think I'm very lucky to live where I do, really well placed for 
North Wales and Snowdonia, the Peak District, the Lake District. I'm in an ideal position right in the centre of all those fantastic outdoor playgrounds. So that sums up my albeit short term review of the men's arch rock double wall elite hooded jacket from Columbia. Good value, um, it certainly keeps you warm. This wind today, it's obviously stopped my little drone flying just to get those shots. I might leave a bit of them in for comedy value, but it absolutely guaranteed it cuts out the wind dead. Put this in a stuff sack, um, it'll pack down really small. I might do that when I get in just to show you and insert that on the video after this. Um, but yeah, some of the things, some, some of the minor niggles, again, the hood, the adjustability, again, but that's added weight. Um, likewise on the cuffs, just to have some thumb loops when you're putting the jacket on as a mid layer. But other than that, uh, it looks good. Uh, the technology works and it's very reasonably priced in my opinion. Um, for the features and the technology involved in the jacket. We'll crack on on the walk and I'll talk you through what I'm wearing on my feet. There's something magical about walking through woodland like this, especially when you're in and out of the little glades and the way the light just hits various features and you've got some in light, some in shadow. It really is nice and there's something always ultimately relaxing about walking through woodland, especially in winter. Well, I've just come to a lovely spot. Um, it's always nice and relaxing here just to sit down for 10-15 minutes get something to eat uh, with the warmth um, in this jacket is noticeable my glasses are actually steaming up from the inside when I'm walking because the escaping heat is traveling upwards and um, condensing on the inside of my lenses so yeah it's certainly warm enough I'm just gonna have something to eat and then I'll speak to you a bit more about the shoes I'm wearing so here's a closer look the facet alpha 75 um, so I'll start at the top it's got this kind of like mesh collar uh, which goes all the way around and the lacing system uh, it's not traditional laces you've got this elasticated loop which kind of secures the laces when you tighten them up but you've got one of these systems with a plastic toggle just push the sides to release it and pull your foot out you've got a nice loop there to help you pull in the shoe on and then in terms of tightening that's just difficult to do one-handed um, it's just a case well you can do it actually of tightening this toggle down and cinching these laces up and then this handy bit of elastic it will stay under that there we go just to stop that flapping around so you've got this nice collar, um, good bit of support around the sides and then you know what I normally call a bit of a rand, you know this like rubber area which protects your toes, extends over the top and these are completely waterproof um, whilst I have looked after them. I've been in water, I've been walking in long wet grass and um, they are fully waterproof obviously bear in mind that you know the waterproof height probably ends here this material isn't waterproof that's just breathable mesh but you've got a good bit of clearance when you're in wet ground and if your pants are extending all the way down um, you know you've got a bit of additional protection there too so the midsole which is this cushioned area here uh, Columbia refer to it as tech light plush that's really soft comfortable foam um, it's like walking in a pair of slippers uh, there's no break-in period or anything like that necessary or required with these shoes um, it really is very very comfortable um, noticeably so it's like wearing a well-fitting and well-cushioned pair of trainers now in terms of the lugs on the sole they only travel in one direction 
um, horizontal or vertical, which obviously whichever way you're looking at the, the shoe. But they do a good job um, and they provide some good grip on different types of terrain. I'll take it off and we'll have a look at the inside, but again, just getting it off one handed, holding the camera, it's nice and easy. And there we go. That's what Columbia refer to as their out dry waterproof system. Again, fully sealed. This mesh down here, fully waterproof. Uh, it's not going to let anything in. And we can't get the camera all the way in there. And I'm sure you don't want to see, but that's their sort of cushioning inside the shoe, the Ortholite Eco LT. In short, fancy names aside, uh, it's really comfortable. Um, and it adapts to the shape of your foot nicely and you can probably make out here got a nice wide and generous toe box too so if you've got wide feet uh, these are especially comfortable so my kind of roundup on these are very very comfortable out of the box extremely comfortable uh, you won't get sore feet in these They're not rubbing in any way the sizes are pretty generous I'm normally a ten and a half or eleven these are a ten and a half and I've got a bit of extra room in these to be fair so I've got quite thick socks on today to make up for that um, nice support around your heel now the one sort of minor issue um, but if you bear in mind what the marketer does or and what they're meant for um, there's not much support here around the ankle there's my ankle and you know you've only got this mesh collar so in terms of hiking boots they would obviously travel much higher up your your ankle they cover your ankle and you'd have all that wrap around support locking that into place these will not replace hiking boots for me whilst they're very comfortable on walks and sort of flattish hikes and like i say not technical terrain and um, they're not a hiking boot they don't pretend to be and they're not marketed as such um, but for less demanding trails approaches um, around camp you know certainly with the ease of taking them on and off and this nice system um, of locking these laces in with the, the loop system um, very comfortable indeed and the waterproofness again there's nothing worse than having damp socks in your shoes so just a note on pricing um, I think they're reasonably and fairly priced you can get them for 120 quid at the moment um, so that's not too bad at all they're not budget by any means but shoes are and boots something I wouldn't really scrimp on uh, if, it, if it could help it um, you've got to start with your feet when you're hiking or doing any long distance walking or anything like that so they are really important in terms of what you're spending on in your outdoor gear always invest in your footwear that's that's my advice 120 quid and um, whilst not bargain it's also not a deal breaker in my mind um, backed up obviously by Columbia's warranty as well um, in terms of weight uh, a UK size 8 um, tips of scales at 340 grams so they're nice and light too they're not going to weigh you down and that's you feel that when you're walking around nice and nimble and quick footed in them as well so I am going to take in this lovely view um, which I'm looking out at and I will head back and wrap this one up with my final thoughts So I think we're going to leave this one here. It's been a lovely walk. I've still got a bit of a way to go. And it's nice to come out on what is, uh, you know, almost feeling like a proper wintry day. Clear skies, cold temperatures and lovely views and no rain. That's always nice. Thanks very much for watching this. I'll put the technical specs and links to these items below. It's not affiliate, I don't get anything. And again, I was just asked to try them out, see what you think of them. And uh, I like them. If you're in the market for a new jacket, check this one out. If you're in the market for some hiking shoes, check these out. Um, and I'm happy to recommend them if these fit the bill for what you're looking for. You'll see them on future videos. I won't keep banging the drum. And like I say, it's always nice to have the opportunity, very lucky to test out different bits and pieces 
uh, of outdoor gear. I'll be back out as soon as I've got some proper free time. Um, things are tough at the moment and uh, I'm struggling for, for any free time. And um, the next wild camping video, I will be announcing the winner of the MSR reactor one litre stove. So someone's gonna have a really nice lucky Christmas too. So I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching. If you've got any questions, let me know and take care.